What is up everybody welcome back to the channel i am out again for another camping adventure i'm glad to have you all back with me i will be out for three days in total two nights um, i'll be river camping here on this beautiful river up here in a wilderness area up here in the northern part of the lower peninsula of michigan We've got a little bit of rain kicking in, but it is not terrible. Wouldn't be a Sam Bananas video if we didn't have a little bit of rain, right? So anyway, we're going to enjoy our time out here. We're going to do a little fishing. I've got some great uh, meals to cook up. We've got some good beers to drink. We're going to soak it up and enjoy nature. But before I do any of that, i got to take a little nip off of the old banana flask. Woof. That is that good old uh, Knob Creek. Woo! All right, let's get into it. Pretty. Oh yes, good stuff. A couple things I should probably mention. Um, this uh, river is, that should probably come down. That's gonna keep happening. A couple things I should probably mention. This river is littered with class one and supposedly class two rapids as well. So there's small rapids all up and down this river. I did this same trip that I'm doing back in August of 2020. So it was three years ago now and have been wanting to come back ever since. And this is my first opportunity. Um, in addition to that, one more thing I wanted to tell you guys is that I do have a huge announcement for everybody. We're gonna chit chat about that around the fire tonight. Yeah, that rain is definitely picking back up. Um, I do have a poncho. Um, so we'll see if I need to take that out. Um, I gotta change the dry clothes, so I'm not, I'm not super worried about it. If I get a little wet, sometimes it's just uh, part of the adventure.
Yeah, buddy. Big old boulder right in the middle of that. Whoa! Just taking a little break here from the rain. Um, I've been paddling pretty hard. I'm in a spot that um, is interspersed with um, private property and the uh, library outfitter service I'm using. He said these guys uh, that live out in these areas can get a little particular about who um, sets foot and be care very careful about getting off of the river, but I'm just getting rained on, so I'm just taking a little break here before I get back out and brave it. I basically gotta keep these wet clothes on at this point, which isn't the end of the world, but um, I just wanna take a little break and get my bearings here, and then uh, we'll get back and we'll get moving here. Lots of bird activity over here. Um, yeah, so that rain ha has really calmed down. We might actually be past it here. So people ask me this all the time. I so I do make rain videos on purpose. Sometimes it's fun. I like to go out and I like to camp in the rain. There's there's a it definitely adds a, an element of adventure, and people like watching those videos. That was not the plan for today. I wasn't planning on <laughs> making a rain camping video. There was no rain in the forecast. I'm trying to get past the stretch of river uh, to where I'm actually firmly into the public land. So um, once I get there, I, I kind of know what stretch I'm looking at. And we'll probably take a little break at some point have ourselves a snack and have some water to stretch my legs a little bit and, uh, and check back with you guys kind of let you know what's going on from there We're starting to pass a uh, state forest campground. I'm starting to see tents here and there. I see some picnic tables and um, I can smell uh, campfire. So yeah, I know I'm getting to where I need to be because I, I gotta go past that point, so. And uh, hopefully I got some good footage. I never know exactly how this is gonna turn out until I get home, but um, I've been having a really good time. But I am excited to get to a place to set up camp, I'll tell you that.
bugs are starting to come out. Crazy how much uh, weather changed here. It's over the course of a couple hours. Oh boy. Oh man. This is something. Okay. Freaking A. Oh shoot. Ooh, it does not want to let me go that way. Woo! No, 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 no. I'm getting pecked. Ugh. 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 Okay. Oh boy. Yep, it's fast forever. Luckily I can stand. Okay. Oh jeez. Yeah, okay, we're moving. <laughs> Woo! Oh, doggone. Yep. Okay, I think we're coming up to our spot here. Oh, okay. Oh, I think we found it. <laughs> Not a moment too soon either. I got about uh, less than an hour of daylight left. Canoes here. I'm just gonna take a minute, collect myself. Oh. Gather my thoughts and then we'll go ahead and get our camp set up. So good.
unfortunately, people have left a bunch of trash in this, uh, I don't know if you call it a burn pit, it's just kind of where fires have been happening. Um, I really wish people did not do this, but they do. So, that's all right. We got a trash bag, and luckily there's not too much of it, so we can get this cleaned up. Get dinner going. Um, there's people back here uh, training hunting dogs. Um, the uh, shell service I paid for, they let me know that was going on uh, right at this exact time. So that's what you're hearing. Um, uh, a beagle just came close to my... I think it's a beagle. I mean, it kind of looks like a basset hound, but it's not so frumpy i don't know what the heck it is but some kind of dog like that came right up to the camp and just started howling at me um so that's what that is anyway <laughs> probably gonna hear a little bit of that So the way I like to do it is I put my chili in the pot first, then I put my water on the top there. That kind of helps me measure out exactly roughly what I want and what I need.
I apologize about uh, not getting into my big announcement. I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, I think I'm gonna hit the hay and we'll save it for tomorrow. We'll have a, a second camp. I'm out here for a whole nother day, a whole nother night. Please forgive me. I'm just too tired to, to get into it. I need to just uh, whew, have as early of a night as possible, recoup, and then I'll talk to you guys about it tomorrow. Cheers. Mm. Not bad. gas canister to make life easier um, but I grabbed the wrong one it's out of gas so no problemo we're doing fire for breakfast but that's all right that is not a problem Yesterday, I put in, I believe it was Skookum Bridge. Drove, uh, I paddled through this stretch of private property. Passed by Walker Bridge. Passed by Lincoln Access. And I'm somewhere around here now. So I've got to paddle all the rest of the way up here. And my takeout point is there. Not sure exactly where I'm going to camp, but it's going to be somewhere kind of over. All right, so I am hiking back off trail here um, along the uh, river. Looks like I forgot my fishing pole. I don't know, I'm uh, somewhere between a half a mile to a mile down river now. It's only been a few minutes, but, um, but I was cruising. So I got my pants back on, my long sleeve and everything, hiking through the brush and um, I'm not leaving that fishing pole. So um, whatever I got to do to get back and, and get it, that's what's happening. I got my life preserver on a tree to mark the spot. So I'll, as long as I follow the river, I'm not going to get lost. Um, and uh, Google Maps is even working right now. So, But, uh, you know, it'd be really easy to edit this out and not show you and not let you guys know this happened. But I just like to show as, um, you know, realistic of a... Um, you know, of the events as what happens. So um, come along and, and we're going through it, guys. <sighs> it's 
so I got no choice here. I'm crossing the river. I'm gonna have to walk on that side because I really have no choice. Oh, and all my clothes are quick dry, so they're gonna get put to the test. And I remember that area right over there is deep, so I'm not walking it. I'm just walking across here. I mean, I am in the river. I'm soaked. I'm officially soaked. But that's okay, I got nothing in my pockets. And uh, we're making some we're making some progress here. At least I'm getting taking some pretty views here. At this point, this is almost like a trail. This isn't bad at all. Um, so if this holds, I should be there in no time. So here it's getting a bit too steep to hike along. This is probably a good place to cross. Hard to tell, but I think I can walk back in there. And I think I recognize that from being very close to the camp, so. Crossing river again. Woo! Just up to about my thighs there, so not too bad. There we go. Yeah, I can live with that. <sighs> Yoink. Got it. Now that I got the path figured out on uh, how to get back, shouldn't be... Uh, Shouldn't be too terrible. I'm kind of a naturally forgetful person anyway. Um, but yeah, just just trying to do the filming and stuff, it just always adds um, such a, a, a new level of distraction for a person who is always a little scatterbrained as it is. So um, I'm not uh, ultra surprised that I did that. Um, luckily, uh, I was only, I bet I was six or seven minutes down the river um, round trip that took me about 40 minutes and it was a little over a mile total. But you know, the, the important thing is I got it and uh, I'm no worse for wear. Um, you know, it's all part of the fun. Off camera here, I've just uh, been trying to pick up the pace a little bit. Um, I lost some time going back to that fishing pole. Haven't even thrown the fishing rod in one time yet. So, um, but it's a little bit of a challenge with the current is a bit strong. It's constant twists and turns. Um, 
I could uh, I could try trolling, but I'm not super well set up for that. I know there's some some different lures um, that I've got to get uh, to do a better job of that. But also certain parts of the river, just like a lot, there, there's a lot of shallow and a lot of opportunity for snags and stuff. So I'm not super comfortable with it. But um, yeah, just kind of looking for a nice little sort of a beachy kind of area. Um, so I can pull over and switch back into the shorts, maybe take a dip. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, we'll see, uh, we'll see what we find. I'm just keeping my eye out, but that's the next step there. was as cold a water as I've been in in quite some time. <laughs> Woo, man. Oh. Chop here. Got a bit of some chop here. Yep. Oh, never. Yes, sir. Fun stuff. Oh, Nelly. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh baby, oh baby. Woo! Oh baby, what's this? Oh baby.
Oh sh! Woo! Woo! This is a uh, very reasonable campsite. I could totally stay here, but um, oh, tons of firewood too. This is, this is just a nice one, but um, I'm not quite far enough um, down the river. I would, I'd like to have um, a little bit of a shorter day tomorrow. Um, I do have a four hour drive um, to get home from here. So um, I'm gonna continue down a little bit further. This is gonna be it. This is an absolutely gorgeous campsite. Big, wide, open area. Got firewood back there, easy access. Got a nice fire burn area thing here. Um, beautiful view of the river. I've got a good two hours until sunset. I could not be happier with my predicament right now. Woo! All right, let's get camp set up. has put the fire pit back over here there was a fire pit that was also over there um, they both been actually very well maintained i'm gonna move it over here because i want that nice beautiful view of the river i'm only moving it 20 feet or so um and the next person if they want to they can move it back up to them this person uh last person was nice enough to uh, leave me some processed firewood that is super super cool um i'll make sure that i uh return the favor Don't forget the fishing tool. Don't forget the fishing tool. Don't forget the fishing tool.
while I'm waiting for that chili to rehydrate, um, I'm going to go ahead and grab a branch off of this dead tree. Take it back over to the camp so I can help replenish some of that firewood I used up. That's should be all the wood we need. <laughs> Okay, so um, realized I didn't uh, let you guys in on the uh, big announcement. So I wanted to make sure that I let everybody know about it tonight. After this trip, when I get back home, I am heading into work and I'm going to give my notice. Um, I'm going to be doing this uh, full time and uh, we're going to take our best stab at it. Um, we're going to see. Whew, we're going to see what happens. Um, I've had some. Uh, some really big uh, ups and downs in YouTube. I think over time, uh, uh, things are, are definitely getting better. And the more I try, the more successful I seem to be. I have an absolutely fantastic job. I have a wonderful bosses, great coworkers. I really, really do enjoy my job, but um, I just know if I, uh, if I don't give this a try at 100% when I'm older, I, I, I think I'll regret it. So, woof, I am absolutely <laughs> terrified to do it, but, um, I'm going for it. Mrs. Bananas is uh, very supportive um, with all of this. If you want to do anything to help me out, um, you can uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and uh, and watch the videos if you're if you're a fan. I would definitely appreciate it. For those who are inclined, I do have a Patreon. Um, every single video is ad free over there. Early access as well. Um, I do a bunch of little extras. Sometimes I do blooper reels and um, I do little extra mini videos over there sometimes. I have a whole series of uh, this like Irish vacation that I went on with Mrs. Bananas and we're narrating each part. So there should be several parts up by now. But um, for those who are inclined, go ahead and check that out. I'm aware that uh, Patreon is not for everybody. Um, so if you want to help me out, you can watch some videos. Got a bunch of them out there now. So uh, you want to watch them, they're there. I'd definitely appreciate it. Click on, uh, click on a video at the end of this. So yeah. Woo! Here we go. We're doing it. Anyway, wish me luck. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the night. I'm pretty pooped. Watch this fire die down. I'm going to hit the hay. I got a full day tomorrow. Anything interesting happens, I'll definitely film it. Otherwise, catch you guys in the morning. Good night everybody.
I realize I never quite showed off the sleep setup, so nothing to write home about, but um, this is a new Nature Hike tent, uh, Mongar 2. And just got like my electrics and stuff in there. Nothing too crazy, but comfortable sleep system there with the um, puffy coat I use as a pillow just in case I need the coat too. I have that in as well. And just a top quilt for this trip. Just charging up uh, camera gear and uh, power banks and stuff for the trip today. Mm. Oatmeal is uh, a little bit runny, but that's okay. Beautiful morning. This has actually been a really cool little piece of the campsite here. Just this way this tree comes up, kind of forms a, um, kind of like a shelf for me here. Um, so I can come in here and uh, get all my gear organized. So this has been like a really big help. This is like a, a nice little bonus of this campsite.
freaking A. It just does not stop. This is the uh, crazy part here. The crazy stretch of the river. Oh man. Okay. Deep breath. Woo, Nelly. Not sure how that came out, but that was fun. even know how to do it. This is crazy. Woo! Oh Nelly, oh Nelly, whoa Nelly. Take it on water, take it on water. That's all right, that's all right. We're through it and we're gonna crash into the side and that is okay. Woohoo! Yeah! Woo! Oh, this is a big boy. Oh my goodness. Woo! Yeah. 
Come on. Um, sure. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Did you have a good trip? Fantastic. Bada bing. What? Thank you very much. Have a good one, man. You too. All right, guys. All strapped in, ready to make the trip home. That was a fun one. I definitely enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Woo! That's another one in the books. Thank you all so much for coming along for the ride. It means the world to me. If you haven't done so yet, please click that banana. We're going to catch you on the next one, everybody. Bye.